Now I would like for you guys to practice using Qualtrics. So we're at the EIU homepage. We're going to click on search and type in Qualtrics, which is Q-U-A-L-T-R-I-C-S. You're going to get a link to EIU Qualtrics and then you want to log in. And this is just your EIU username and password. If you can remember it. <laughs> Mine changes so often and it becomes difficult sometimes to remember. Okay, so I actually, I have a lot of surveys. Um, let's look at my grief and Facebook one. Oops, this is not the right one. Apologize for that. I must have erased it. Oh, here it is. I changed the name. Okay, so this is a survey that I actually use to collect data. And the very first part of the survey, of course, is an explanation of the research, um, who's conducting it, where it's being conducted, the fact that it's voluntary, um, People can ask questions, they can stop at any time, and everything is anonymous. And then here was some incentive for people to participate. And then at the end of the survey, because I'm talking about grief in this particular survey, I offered resources for grief support, free ones that I could find, hotlines, um, websites, etc. Because I'm conducting research that I'm actually going to present findings on or try to publish, I had to get permission from the Institutional Review Board, or sometimes called the IRB. And this is made up of a panel of professors across campus that review people's studies, potential studies or proposed studies, research to make sure that if humans or animals are being used, I shouldn't say used, are being um, studied, then they will be treated ethically. And then if that passes, you get a number. That's what this is. And then down here, I had the ability for them to go onto the survey or not. They press, press the no button, they just left. Um, and you can see this is a skip logic that I added. If no is selected, then skip to end of survey. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this because it is important that you have some type of introduction to your own project. And when you do that, it's going to seem a little funny <laughs> to create it in Qualtrics, which is why I want you to practice now. So let's create a survey. I would like to use the quick survey builder. I'm going to name this FCS 5901 Moyer 2016. Create survey. You can ignore the folder. And this is what I get, so it doesn't look like much, right? What I want to do is create a new question, and I'm going to use descriptive text because I want to give an introduction. So here is where I would write that. Welcome to my survey for FCS 5901 statistics in family and consumer sciences. This survey is for classroom use only. Your responses completely anonymous and you may skip any questions 
make you uncomfortable <clears throat> without any penalty. My instructor for the class is Dr. Lisa Moyer in the School of Family and Consumer Sciences at EIU. Sorry, correct some things here. Make it a little bigger so you can see it. Her email address. And her office phone is and you can get all of this, of course, from the syllabus. You want to give them information um, regarding where they can contact me because as the instructor, I oversee all of you projects. So that's going to be the first thing that people see. And I want to just preview that. So I'm going to click Preview Survey. And it shows you both the mobile view like if somebody's doing it on their phone, as well as if they're doing it on their computer. So that's great. Um, I like it. What I can do now is just close out of the preview mode and go back to creating. From here, the first thing you want to add in a survey, and if you've taken a survey, you, you know this already, um, usually you add demographic items or questions. So you want to ask people questions like their age. And I am going to do this. There's lots of choices here. I'm going to do age with a text entry. What is your age? That way they can just type in what they want. And then I want, um, oh, it didn't save. What is your age? Question mark. And this is, remember that skip logic where they could skip? You can do that here. Play around with stuff. Check it out. Um, because this is going to be a text entry, I want it to just be a single line because I don't want them to be able to write a whole bunch. But you could choose multi-line, SA text box. They could have to have a password. I'm sticking with single line. Here, what is your race, ethnic identity? And we'll say primary. Um, I'm going to do Asian the five choices. Um, if I wanted to do other and then add where they could add some type of text to that, I can certainly do that, allow text entry, so that they can type in what it is. Um, let's do a slider, because those are kind of fun. <laughs> On a scale from 0 to 100, with 100 representing the most happy, how happy would you say you are right now? Okay, so I've got that. Um, I'm going to get rid of the 
We don't need three choices. They just need one. And let's just preview again. You can always preview anytime. Now, so far, this is putting all this on one page because I haven't put in what is called a page break for the survey. So here's welcome to the survey. What is your age? They can type it in here. Primary race, ethnic identity, they can select here. Um, and then the scale, they can slide this along. So how happy are you right now? Which I think is kind of fun. If I want to split off the rest of the questions, let's just do a gender. Um, what is your gender identity? Well, we'll just say gender. Most people don't. Male, female. We're going to add an option, um, other. And we're going to allow that to be a text entry. And now I'm going to put in a page break because I want it to be another section. I want this to be separated from the rest of the questions. So it added a page break here. I could also, if I wanted to, add a page break here. That means now when I preview, it puts the introduction on a separate page and then the other questions we just created on another page. Hopefully that makes sense. So then we, whatever you're studying, you would create the questions for that. You are going to want to play around. You can't mess up. You can always delete the survey, so it doesn't matter. Um, get a feel for it, remembering again the pros and cons and the things you want to avoid in survey making, like asking two questions in one. So, for example, let's say I'm going to do multiple choice and I say, um, have you ever been stopped by a police officer? And if so, how did you feel about it? Good. Bad. Never been stopped. Okay, so this might look like it's okay, but you're asking two questions. Have you ever been stopped by a police officer? And if so, how did you feel about it? Well, if you've never been stopped, that's fine. If you have been stopped and you felt anything other than good and bad, then you have no other options. You want to just avoid asking two questions. If you find yourself doing that, you're going to break it out into two questions. You could do skip logic. Have you ever been stopped by a police officer? And then change this to yes. No. Cut down to two choices, and when you get to the no, okay, this always just takes me a second. Add skip logic. So if no is selected, then skip to end of survey. So that way, if they skip, no, they're just done. So maybe my survey is about being stopped by police. If somebody's never been stopped, then there's no point in them finishing the survey. So what does that look like? Let's preview. And again, see the introduction. The demographic questions we added and now have you ever been stopped by a police officer someone says no they'd be done um, and maybe you want to add a page break after that 
So we're going to add a page break so that it'll just be on a page by itself. That's what page breaks mean. Um, then keep on creating new questions. You can even create little vignettes or little situations, hypothetical situations. Um, pretend that a police officer has stopped you and you were not doing anything wrong to your knowledge. How do you think that this would affect how you greet the officer? Um, and then if I want to add some choices, I can. So maybe I want to have four. Um, wouldn't affect you at all. You would be grouchy. You would be pleasant. You don't know. Um, you could write as much as you wanted here. You could also do open-ended questions. So let's do um, a text entry. Click to write the test question in the above scenario please describe what you think your reaction would be in your own words and then here you can indicate how much um, room you want them to have it's a page break and preview. So again, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Demographics. Have you ever been stopped by a police officer? Um, there's a little scenario, and there's where they could add their stuff. Now let's say that's all you want to do. For your own surveys, you're going to need at least 10 questions. You want to be thinking about a topic that you want to research. Um, if that's where you want to end, you could then put in some text. So you could do descriptive text. Thank you for participating in my survey. Um, and then Let's say that's all I wanted to do. I'm just going to launch my survey now. And it'll say, well, it's inactive. You just click activate. And here's the link.